Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic for your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about Robocop. Yeah, now, you know, the Super Bowl's been like a couple of weeks now, so we're, we're not upset anymore. So we just came it's back. It was funny, though. It was, it, was, it, was, it was funny to him. It wasn't funny to me. <laughs> it was pretty damn doggone tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was, that was tragic. Okay, but uh, so we had a much better night tonight. We went out to see Robocop. Um, I love the original Robocop. I love everything about it. I am not some film student, so I'm not going to sit here and talk about the existentialism or how it's a, like some kind of um, thing about how corporate America is taking over the world or anything like Which that. Which it is. It is, but I'm not talking about that. I'm a guy. I like movies about metal men with hot chicks and blow things up. He's got a hot wife, he's a metal man, and he blew things up. It wasn't the best movie ever. But it was a good movie. Yeah, it was, it was a good setup for yeah. possibly a sequel. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's about the that's what it felt like. It was like here's his origin story. Now you're attached to him. We can now begin real Robocop movies. And that was the that was my major problem with this movie. Actually, was that it seemed like they spent so much time with his origin, trying to get you to uh, to fall in love with this guy. Right. That they forgot to make him Robocop and blow things up. Yeah, and then there there's there's a few little minor things that were bothering me, like. There is a, whatever senator was against the robots on the street, which he was correct. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. think about it, like robots are incorruptible, really? Because that's why I check. They have internet, which means they can be hacked. So some little nerd at a computer can go, boop, and everyone's dead. Oh, and also the Skynet. Yeah, I'm mean, just saying, you know, right? Like, how did that happen? And they not go, and this is how the end begins. <laughs> like, <laughs> like. It's, they don't look friendly at all. Like, no, at no. least they make them smile or something. Anyways, though, but like they had a vote in the Senate on repealing the act, and so the Senate passed it like within a couple of hours, which we all know was a lie. Yeah, yeah. But then they're like, and the act is repealed. Really? Cause I learned in like the fifth grade, it has to go to the uh, the House and then to the President, which takes way more. In four hours. Now, to be fair, when they got to no, the end, no. when they got to the end, no. they did point out that the president, yeah, but didn't, see, didn't but before that, design. it so, had all it had already been repealed enough to let the gigantic walkers from Star Wars <laughs> <laughs> walk, walk over and start shooting Robocop in the streets. He was inside the building. He, he was, was on OCP, American soil. He was on OCP property, which that is was superseded just, by American <laughs> soil. That was that was their security. No! I mean, it's over the top security. Dude, Ed 209 as your security system, way over the top. I'm just saying. Yeah, and they didn't really do so hot either. And then, like, they they can't shoot unarmed people. So, like, you can just walk in front of it and be like, I don't have a gun. And they had to sit there. Like, they can't arrest you. So, they're just kind of staring at you. Yeah, but by the same token, even though they're these big armored walkers from um, Star Wars, like you said, they'll shoot a person with a knife. First of all, hey, hey. There's a kid in the beginning who's like whose dad and his friends go out and they suicide bomb uh, the, the robots and whatnot, which I normally don't agree with suicide bombers, but when someone summons Skynet upon your town, it's like yeah. kind of all you have left at yeah. this point because you don't have robots of your own. And now the kid, though, he I'm glad he died for his stupidity because he was going to get someone else killed later on in his life. <laughs> At some point. Because he's like, oh, look, giant invincible walkers. Let me run out with a kitchen knife and let, it was and a do really what, sharp. What was his knife. plan? What was his plan? I think he just wanted to do what his dad was doing. That's stupid. You didn't have, he didn't have a bomb. You didn't have, he wasn't with a knife. Spoiler alert. In case we haven't said spoiler alert. Um, this kid, his dad, and his dad's friends, they all decided that they were going to blow themselves up on national television so that people in America would see that these robots are evil. The kid decides to pick up a knife. A knife. Leaving his mother and sisters, who yeah. are like nine. <laughs> so, yeah, your, your first act as man of the house Let's is to, to abandon the house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he was he was he was bad. He should have. I was he, glad. He, 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 I, I'm like, at least your dad had a plan. You're like, yeah. You're not Batman. You're not Batman. You gonna do nothing with that? Okay. Now one of the one of the differences that was glaring for me was Officer Lewis. 
Okay, in, in the eighties movie, Officer Lewis was a little white chick. The 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 mm. chick who uh, you know, looked down at the dude's junk right. <laughs> when when he said, Can I put this away? Yeah, her. He's now a DMX looking black dude. But he was a good friend though. Yeah, he was. Yeah, like, he was. like this, this dude, like uh, when Robocop was getting chewed up by what we can only assume was a hundred caliber round <laughs> bullets. Which, by the way, I don't know how he was still alive after that. But anyway, uh, he had holes all through it. Yeah, but I don't know how he's still moving because those Cause robots are pretty accurate. Yeah, he's Robocop. His willpower was going. But anyways, like so, the Lewis knows that if you if you're unarmed, they can't fire. So this dude walks out into fire. The robot is still, you know, going at it, and and it acts as a human shield. For yeah, just steps in front. Is like, Alex, leave. I'm like, Alex, dude. He now gets to call in. He now gets to call in like thirty favors. <laughs> <laughs> he owes that man. <laughs> Which now makes me believe that um, the best friend from Spawn was a really bad friend. Compared to walk out, he, it's like, like it was like. Oh, you you died and went to hell. I'm gonna marry your wife, which we all know is against the bro code. Unless <laughs> your bro's last words are, "Dude, marry her, keep her from other guys," which I don't know why he would say that. But if he did say that, that is the only reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, anyway, but if he comes back from the dead as Spawn, you then divorce the wife because he's back now. Yeah, and you knew it was him. You knew it was him. You said his name. Okay, but anyway, back to Robocop. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Robocop, um, I like the black armor. Yeah. But I'm, I'm still nostalgic for the old the school. Silver, the silver he, one. he gets back to silver before the movie's over. Yeah, but, he does. Um, I like the fact that he's more uh, m- mobile in this movie. Like, my, 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 my dad said that. He's like, I hope he can move easier because last time he was a tank. He's like, dzz, dzz. Yeah, like, he, like even when he moves quicker in RoboCop, the the first, the original, he didn't move that quickly. And this one, he was like, "Oh, by the way, I've got gyros." <laughs> He's running like sixty miles per hour through a rice field. When did he? <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. They shut him off. He's like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> he just got, like immediately passed out. And then the rice farmers were just like, "All right, well, <laughs> this is China. This is not the weirdest thing I've seen today." Like, <laughs> they re- they really they were like, "Yeah, yeah, whatever, okay." See that all the time. <sighs> it's like it, it, it was. It was really. It was a good. It was a good part of the movie. Was, yeah, I mean, the movie had it had its moments, and it was it wasn't like the best movie ever, but it had moments where you yeah. go, yeah, like when he when he turns out when he finds out about the corrupt cops, mm. the ones who sold him out, that was hilarious. Yeah, that, that, that's where the whole bad cop robot cop scene from the commercial comes from. Speaking of the commercials. If you watch the commercials, there's a really cool part where he's like, dead or alive, you're coming with me. Like from the original movie. That part, not actually in, in the, the movie? movie at all. He does say it. Yeah. It's not like Zod. Say he how he says it. Say how he says it. He's like, he's like on his knees about to pass out. And he's like, dead or alive, you're coming with me. And then the guy's like, nope, boom. <laughs> Signature line, and you gonna say it like a punk? Hey, what? But he still shot the guy. Like oh, he sh- oh, he killed him. Man. That guy is dead. Yeah. And then like, there was, it's funny. There was an army guy with a super awesome assault rifle. The whole time he's like, nope, I'm just gonna leave. Like he, he doesn't, he doesn't run off. He doesn't call. He just walks away. Yeah, it's like that was my first over. Like everything was very anticlimactic. Like there's there's a one drug dealer who worked for the dude who uh, had him killed. And the way he beats him is like the guy pulls a, a pin out of a grenade and then Robocop stuns him. So then he blows up. Yeah. And then he walks away. And then he gets to finally kill the, the guy he's been after for like his whole life, kind of almost. And then he just shoots him and he dies off screen. Well, he, no, he, fell, he fell to the ground and then Robocop walks up and he scans him and says, deceased. Yeah, but that... But, but it was, was like, like one shot. Guy. No, that was another guy. That was him walking out of the... The place. He just shoots at the other guy, the, the main guy a lot, and then leaves. He looks at the other dead people as he's as he's leaving, but you're just like Why? Like that there, there was no emotional payoff there. Yeah, and then the same thing when he pulls up to Omni Omnicore and um uh, their their entire like security force of the humans are all standing out there. He shoots one of them and then he goes, I suggest you drop your weapons and leave. And they just do it. Well cause that but I mean, what are you, you do? I, I understand. Like, are you packing 50, uh, 50 caliber rounds? 
No, you have nine Whatever millimeters. You, yeah. you have nine millimeters. You're gonna do nothing with that. By the way, why why is that company security force allowed to carry those weapons around? Oh, because they own the com- they own the city. Yeah, I know you own the city, but you don't own the country. But they own the city. Yeah, but like, what do you mean, like illegally own the city? No, they own the city. Like, oh, they they as in they bought it. Yeah, like if you if you watch the original RoboCop movies, mm-hmm. they own old Detroit, like the land. Yeah, like as in it is now separate from America. As in, no, it's still in America, but OCP owns it. But like American laws no longer apply. American laws apply. So how we there... have the right to walk around with loaded weapons? We Not... have to have a permit. Dude, they were in full military gear with assault rifles on the street. They're security. Whose security has that? <laughs> and then they're backed up by walkers from Star Wars. <laughs> they're security. No one was overseeing this. Look, Samuel L. Jackson said it was okay. He so, was funny. So mother, was boop, funny. it's okay. It was built down at the end. He's like, how is this not in jail right now? <laughs> like, oh, man. And I love how when they, they had a debate between the guy who owns the, the big corporation and the senator, he's like, eh, that's no. And just like, makes the senator disappear. He's like, no. Nope. And he's like, no, no, no. How can you argue with that? Well, you can't when you're turned off. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, it, was a, it was a good movie. It actually was good. Um, I like, I liked all the scenes of him walking around just killing people, just like, or the or robots or whatever. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool, you know, how precise and whatnot. And, but, um, as always, people being stupid, like, he's not perfect. Make him like a robot. Why, though? Because robots can be easily controlled. Yeah, and we, we had a we had a problem with um, something that they did with his brain. Like, they were downloading pretty much all the information in Detroit into his brain. Yeah. And he started to spaz out, which you would if someone was downloading every piece of information in Detroit into your brain. Cyborg didn't. He got the entire universe. Yeah, but he's Cyborg, though. Cyborg's a black robot. I heard him say, he's black. <laughs> so no, don't crack. <laughs> yeah, so you know they're doing this to him, and he starts to spaz out. So they're like, "Oh, you know what? Let's turn down the dopamine levels in his brain, and then when he becomes completely like a robot, it'll be fine." Right. Which makes sense. Okay. So you put the information in, and then they leave him emotionless. The 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 whole point of the RoboCop experiment was that it was a robot that can feel. And then you made him not able to feel, which means he's a robot, which means the entire movie is a lie. Nothing. But his best friend and wife noticed, which never, never happens. happens. They always go, what's wrong with you? I'm upset because you've been turned into a robot and dead for four months, but now I'm unhappy because with one time, <laughs> you're not normal. Like with, like, like with Oliver mm. from Arrow. You yeah. become five years. Why aren't you normal immediately? It's been three weeks. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and also, okay. Now, I don't know what little Caucasian kid is on, th- this little Caucasian kid was, but he's not like any little Caucasian kid I've ever seen. Okay, your dad just walked through the door as a seven-foot-tall robot. You are not supposed to walk up and say hi. Nope. You're like, okay, do you have jet boots? <laughs> do you have rocket launchers? Can you transform? And are you a superhero? Like, I want to watch the Red Wings. That's all he cared about. Right? See, like, it's not like you know, between husband and wife where you're like, crap, there are certain things we can't do anymore. As a son, all you need is your dad for guidance and to kill other people's dads. And your dad can definitely right? do that now. So for you, it's like, dad got an upgrade. Awesome. Let's go flying somewhere. He's like, hi, dad. I'm like, Psh, dad, that's awesome. It's like, you got lights, right? <laughs> like, we're getting all the toys. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> But it was, uh, I mean, I think the kid only had, like, what, five lines in the whole movie? Yeah, pretty much he just kind of stared at. Yeah. Okay, another thing. Um, he watched his dad blow up. Yeah. From a window. Mm-hmm. And he, he, he did this. Well, you know, when you see, you know, traumatic things, your brain just decides, nope. I mean, he could, he could scream or something. <laughs> no, his brain probably shut down. He screamed when he went to the school. Well, that's because he was calm. Like, he had time to digest it. But at that moment, he's like, nope. I don't pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> like, I, he's like, dude, I, I am six right now. Like, my worry is, like, getting a trade in Pokemon. Like, I can't even begin to process this. There's probably no Pokemon. I mean, it's like 2000. First of all, first of all, Pokemon's forever, sir. It is forever. There's no, there's no Pokemon. You are lying to yourself and the This, is, right this is Detroit. They may not be able to afford Pokemon. <laughs> they may not have it. <laughs> I, I will give you that. By the way, I'm still surprised there's a, there's a Detroit. 
Look, like, yo, it, it looked nice though. It looked better than real Detroit. Yeah, really. As long as they have the Pistons, there will be a Detroit. That, that's all that's left. But there will be a Detroit. Is that does that do they warrant an entire city? They could just move to like somewhere else. They really could. Like they, anywhere also have, they also have lions. Look, all their teams and can move somewhere else. Any, and they have red wings. Basically, basically, sports keeps that city there. Yeah, but they sh- they should just move to a whole other place that's not falling apart. Yeah, but see, then they wouldn't be the same heroes. See, understand the Detroit Lions until like maybe two years ago have sucked for like forty years. Mm-hmm. They're still heroes because of Detroit. Right, but it's like you're not a real hero because you get paid more money than the entire city of Detroit. Like That not, is true. Like, you're not really a hero. Like, all of y'all should give over half of your money to Detroit. And then you'd be real heroes, and then Detroit would probably be a whole lot better. Yeah, and instead of, you know, filing bankruptcy, which they had to do. I mean, think about it. Like, the dude who wrote the original, you know, screenplay for RoboCop, it's like, okay, I need a place on this earth so bad, so devoid of hope that they would kill a man to put him in a robot <laughs> to make life just a little bit better and literally give themselves over to a robot empire. Detroit. That was probably the very first city that came to mind. And it's probably where Skynet began. Detroit. Just say it. The once great city it is now the place that needs RoboCop. Because, like... That, that's worse than needing Batman. <laughs> you're like, you know what? Not by no, much, though. You're like, no more emotion. No more vengeance. Just go kill some people. Just just don't ask, don't ask them nothing. Just walk up and shoot them in the head. Well, actually, if you're, if you're talking about the original RoboCop, then that is Batman. Which, by the way, Peter Weller. Who is a really RoboCop, cool guy, yeah. Yeah, we met him. And he also voiced Batman. In Dark Knight. In Dark Knight, Knight yeah. Part one and two. We know him. I'm, we're not bragging, but you have not met him. So <laughs> And he's deep. He's deep. really deep. We asked him who would win between Batman and Robocop, and he actually had an answer. Like, he has sat down and thought of this before. He's like, yeah, they wouldn't fight. They would just go out and, and have a cup of coffee and talk about the holes in their lives. And I was like, oh, my God. That was, that was, I think we have that on, on this channel, right? Yeah, we do. If you go back go to back our early videos, uh, we had a, our interview with Peter Weller, the original Robocop, on this channel. I assume. So, check it out. But it's on YouTube. Under, I mean, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see him. I had the camera, so. But yeah. But it was a, it was an okay movie. It was. I mean, the original Robocop is better, and, and I know a lot of people are going to pan this one because the original was so, was so much better. But, I think that, um, they spent so much time trying to be different from the original Robocop that they, that they missed some of the stuff from, from the original. I'm glad the blood was, was less. Because I personally don't like the blood. Yeah, RoboCop had a re- was really bloody movie. Just like, had so blood. much yeah. blood, just like all. That's why I think like I was young when, it, when I when I first saw it. I think that's why my brain did like his son and was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pretend I just saw a shiny robot <laughs> posing. I didn't see none of all this other stuff. But if you guys get a sequel, hopefully they do. If, and if they do, um, instead of spending so much time trying to get you to fall in love with Alex's old life, do what they did in the original RoboCop. Where RoboCop is doing some cool stuff, then he has a memory of something that happened in the past, so that you still get that he had this cool life while he's blowing things away. That worked for me. Did he have his wife and kids in the original RoboCop? Yeah, but well, that like he he left um, home, got shot, and then the first I think really the first time you ever see his wife and kids is in flashbacks, mm-hmm. like after he's been shot. You don't actually see him. Oh, like, like, like really. You remember? Oh, okay. And then they start having flashbacks. Like, when he's being built, he's he's got a flashback of his wife running up and saying, guess what? I love you. And then, you know, him yeah. playing with his kid. And, the and then, then they show RoboCop again. And then they have another flashback. And they show RoboCop again. And so, so, so his wife never works. thought to show up, like, when he was all being RoboCop? In RoboCop 2, she does. How many RoboCops were there? Three. So maybe there'll be three? There'll maybe. Be one? But, like, the first one had... I, I, I don't know. This one was kind of on the fence. I don't Dude, know if they someone got... someone greenlit a movie called... Vampire Academy. Robocop is getting a movie. There are I can't about argue to, with that. There are about to be four Transformers movies. Four. Okay. There was three Spider-Mans. The third one was terrible. But it was terrible. The second one was eh. The second one was good. Really? The second one, 
the D- Doctor Octopus. That was a great movie. I that the, was a great movie. What killed her? Like, like that was the one she was running through the park in the wedding dress, right? That yeah, had, at the end. Yeah, yeah I get that. I was okay, like, now that was a little stupid. lame. That was, was lame. dumb. I didn't. Okay, look. Especially after they made two Fantastic Fours and two Ghost Riders. There's more than there's three X Men. There is more than three X Men movies right now. There's, there's gonna be another Robocop. It, 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 it's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> if there's not, then there's no justice in this world. But they stopped with the first Green Lantern. You don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. Look, look. Just because it's been rumored that the Rock is going to be Green Lantern in, in, in the Justice League, that probably means he's gonna be a Green Lantern movie. Because let's face it, you don't give the Rock a part and then not give no. him. And he, part. he doesn't get bit parts. He will be the main of whatever he's in. Yeah. He's going to be like, you know, be like, Justice League, where Superman is the most powerful, Batman is the most epic, and Green Lantern was the best part of the whole movie. <laughs> Hopefully his Green Lantern will be better. Because, he can't be worse. Because the first Green Lantern was the first movie I ever fell asleep on in the theaters. Ever. I, I was at Universal Studios Florida. We, we went and watched club, club movie. My entire family, we all, we don't remember half that movie. That's because the guy saved the helicopter with a race car track. Instead of just grabbing it and putting it down? Why? Why? <laughs> this is why Jon Stewart w- w- will be a much more interesting Green Lantern. Well, yeah, because he uses the ring like a weapon. Because yeah. he's a Marine. But hey, you know what? Uh, what's his name? The name of the actor who played Green Lantern? Ryan Reynolds. You're not a bad actor. You you played a character the way you play a character. That was the casting. Mm-hmm. He was Paul. Because they cast Deadpool to put on a ring, okay? <laughs> that's not his fault. That's not, it's not. He, You're right. That's how he does. That's Warner Brothers. That's on you. <laughs> you I let that happen. Yeah, like, you know, when there are so many other people, like, what's his name? Nathan Fillion that everybody wanted to play him? Don't know who that is. Uh, it's that guy from Castle. Don't watch Castle. Don't ever say that again. I mean, I watched Castle. You all heard a lie just now. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like you have you have to understand. Um, uh, Firefly, the captain. Yeah, him. Okay. Leave with that next time. Okay. Now see, <laughs> be, uh, see, people watch Castle because it's him, not ah. not because Castle's such a great show. Oh, okay. It's also a comic book too. Firefly. No. Castle. It's a comic book. I see it. I see ads for it in Marvel's comics all the time. Ugh. It is not that good a show. I'm sorry. It's really not. He's a right. He's a writer, and nope, he nope. works with a cop. You said he's a writer. And that's you lost me right there. <laughs> that's that's right. And, and he and he saves. He's he like solves crimes with this cop. He has no badge. Is it a know. RoboCop? No. Mm. So anyway, but she's a hot cop though. Really? Then I, that may warrant a, a quick watch. Um, all right. Then. Okay. So, but yeah. So, RoboCop was good. Uh, Arrow was not on this week because everything that's cool on TV is gone until the stupid Olympics are over. Um, I don't like the Olympics. I like the Summer Olympics. It destroys the news and all TV. No, no, no. Summer Olympics are fine. Are they? They are. Really? Winter Olympics is too much. Winter Olympics are for girls. I mean, they are. The ice skating, figure skating. To be but, fair, though, our women's hockey team, apparently best in the world. They put up nine points against Switzerland to, to zero. They had basically, it was like the Super Bowl all over again. Uh, okay, yeah. For for those of you who don't watch hockey, um, we, have a, we have a lot of Asian fans. So for those of you who don't watch hockey, uh, 9-0 <laughs> in hockey would be like Mike Tyson walking in and punching Emmanuel Lewis in the face. The guy who played Webster. It was bad. Yeah, it was bad. Because hockey games usually go to like four or five points with both teams putting up some, some things. Because, you know, they don't just, you don't score very often in hockey because everyone's always beating the crap out of each other. They put up nine points. That's Switzerland. Just stop. <laughs> Stop being Switzerland. You're done. You lost. You lost your country card. Yeah. You. 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 You will. You were rejected from the next four Winter Games. Yes, you know what? They're, they're probably too busy being neutral on whether or not to score points or not. Okay. <laughs> you know what's what's really bad? Uh, this the Jamaican uh, hockey team is probably sitting there going, "We could have done that, man." <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, dude, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe has only one athlete. 
in the in the Winter Games, and it's for skiing, and they went and got a white guy. Yeah, because <laughs> they they do. They're like, yeah. we can't. We're Zimbabwe. <laughs> we don't have winter. Like, and that white guy probably like came there from Russia. He's like, he's like, he's, he's from like, California. He's from Northern California. He's like the tenth best, the tenth best year in in Russia or something. And he's like, if I move to Zimbabwe, I'll get in. There, I am an Olympian. <laughs> like, like, there, we're an Olympian. It's yeah, skiing. Yeah. <laughs> it's Just, like you guys can't like you you like to them winter is a luxury. Like you have ice indoors. <laughs> what is this? This is what is this magic? This witchcraft. <laughs> Anyways, Robocop was pretty good. Yeah, not Robocop. amazing, but honestly, compared to things that have been coming out, it's pretty good. Like it's good enough that I'm gonna buy the DVD. It's not good enough that I'm gonna take my family to see it. And it's definitely not better than the, the Lego Movie, which was awesome. Yeah, um, everything is awesome, like the song. I haven't seen the Lego Movie yet. I probably shouldn't have said that out loud, but I'm gonna see it Saturday. That song, that song is addicting. You will, you will love that song. I don't want to hear any more addicting movie songs because I keep hearing "It's gonna be the real snowman" oh, God. all the freaking time. Everyone for like eight weeks was like, "Hey, David, you want to be a snowman?" No, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> Go in your room and be depressed and freeze yourself. And what's terrible is, I saw that movie. My kids sing this thing to me all the time. I had to block it out of my brain. So they walked up to me and said, "Dad, do you like the real snowman?" And I didn't know what they were talking about. And you saw it? No, no, we we'd already seen it. Oh. I, I'm you blocked it. I blocked the no. scene. And then White was, Robocop son. It was so traumatic. You just no. I refuse. Yeah, but they refused to let me block it out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's that's, that's, that's iPads are evil. Okay, sorry. yeah. <laughs> that's it for this week. Uh, uh, next week we won't be doing a video. We're going to Frankenstein's because uh, uh, Stan Lee is going to be there. So obviously we're that's where we're going to be. And then the week after that we have a Heroes or Us event. Our comic book, yeah, um, which is also on a Wednesday, so we won't be doing a video there. Sorry. We'll oh, back. we might get some footage though. Maybe. I mean, we'll, you'll you'll see eventually, but not next week. But um, that's it for this week. Oh, by the way, before we sign off, I got one last I thing. I signed off. That's always it's, it's happened. Yeah. Before I, I got one last thing to say. Are okay. You, are you rolling it back right now? This is video. I'm rolling it back. This is video. For this dude, oh, that 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 showed why Goku should okay. be Superman. That's we're doing a response video. I hate Superman, and this video offended me. <laughs> it was he had Goku. Goku should not win. It, we're doing a video. It's a it's an entire. It may yeah. be an hour video. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna there's, have to get our thoughts to, together on this. But that was oh, terrible. There's so much you, so much wrong. <laughs> yeah, they're just like scientifically. What you said was impossible, dude. Okay, but we'll get to that. Yeah. So anyway, oh. going to sign off. Oh, I'm disgusted now. I feel dirty. All right. <laughs> but anyways, until next week, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. It's later. not next week, though. Oh, yeah. Whatever. In my head. See y'all whatever. I guess yeah. bye. Yeah, we, 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 we're out. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. And share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not so great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, uh, Walter, mm -hmm. do you want to build a snowman?